Here, this is the. God, I am obsessed. They got Voldemort, Skip Bayless, and Dracula all inflated. What What do you think about uh, Kamala Harris? So, right, generic Democrat, seemingly more progressive. So we'll see. Do you think the fact that you know she was involved in a Menage trial is that a positive or a negative for you? I don't give a shit. I think it's great. Try to get out of death. Will, will oh, he cut it. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Will you always protest? You mean like have an excuse to get drunk and let the rage out? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? Bro, what? Awesome. Dude, this is a free format, man. This isn't just come here and fucking talk. I mean, yeah, the, the war is fucked up, but there's yeah. a billion other problems, bro. Yeah. I mean, you know. It's just every... a good opportunity, I feel like, just to vent in general. You know what exactly. I mean? Like it's a Thera safe space to. Yeah, Therapy is yeah. $110 an hour. I, I do have a half bottle of vodka in my in my okay, backpack. Okay, word, word. You wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna take a swig, bro? You you want? Oh, you look like you need to lease enough. I, I'm working. You wanna take a swig for fucking but, Palestine, but for bro? For real, bro. For real. What are you pissed off about? I'm come on. You're fucking I'm pissed. single, bro. I'm single. Well, that. that. How many menage trois have you been in? Uh, I I, I had one. Orgy, but it was just five people. I don't know if that's an orgy, but the problem it's an orgy. It's an orgy, yeah, but everyone was really drunk and I was that sober. So it was like it was kinda like I feel like a lot of sex for me that I like is about the intimacy aspect of it, which which someone interpreted as being vanilla. Uh-huh. Um but I did go to Dominatrix convention and I was spanked and I did enjoy that, but I don't like the idea of any kind of money being involved and any kind of gratification in that way. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like you're voting for Kamala Harris. All journalists have some type of bias. Yeah, I mean, I... What went through your mind here? I was like, this guy's a fucking right-wing charlatan. I made fun of him a lot, and he cut out most of it, which is crazy. You guys, I think the, the camera effed while he was, like, interviewing me. So you didn't get to hear... You didn't get to hear my side of it. Like, the full-blown version of the conversation. But yeah, he lowered third. You is all right. Yeah, I don't really care. I thought he was kidding. No, I bro, come on. He's got the seersucker on. I guess smelled the fucking weirdness off of him. He, I mean, he had very weird vibes. Women really let their guard down when they think they're talking to a gay man. What the fuck? He just acts as gay and they accept him like he's one of them. No, I, I could fucking tell. I could tell that he was like a, a right wing charlatan, which is why I was like, what? I literally was like, why do you care? <laughs> like Baltimore, here. Skip Bayless, and Dracula all inflated. What What do you think about uh, Kamala Harris? So, right, generic Democrat, seemingly more progressive. So we'll see. Yeah. Do you think the fact that you know she was involved in a Menage trial is that a positive or a negative for you? I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah why he called you all right um probably because uh i you know correctly clocked him and i don't come across like <laughs> i'm a great name idiot click me <laughs> is more is probably uh, an attempt to meme yeah This channel is crazy. How do they get access to so many famous people? He went to the RNC and was kissing on MILFs as a bit. I think he's just a troll. Um, I mean, he he looked like he he gave off. You know how that one guy that I watched that I like on TikTok who's also a troll? Equal opportunity troll. Like, I think that I, I, he gives off right-wing vibes. That other troll that I watch does not give off. Uh, he's not Hitler. He's right-wing vibes. He's a great man, and I think he showed great bravery. What do you think about this moron over here going against our president? I think he's very low T. You know, he's got low testosterone. You know, why? that's why he's against the president. Why? Because I think killing unborn children is wrong. Is that why I have low T? 
Donald Trump supports 90% of abortions, including the abortion pill, which has killed 28 women. I was initially against moon boofing, right? But then I realized that if you actually do it, moon boofing, he was talking about testosterone, if you actually front your moon up and, and get... He seems groped up. He's got that evil autism vibe. I agree. I mean, this is a this is like a race to the bottom. Like, literally everyone here is just awful. Like, literally everyone here is just like, it's a sequence of like, who's worse? It's what? It's also, yeah, he went to the RNC and then he fucking talked to like a lot of the anti-RNC people. What do you mean? It's like obvious that he's a fucking right-wing troll. The fuck is wrong with you guys? Look at him, bro. He looks like a fucking evil kid and like, he looks like... Like an evil child in a 90s comedy that grew up, okay? Fuck you mean. That phenotype is always bad, bad news, okay? Speaking of phenotypes, let's talk about the Trotskyite, okay? Because goddamn, this is eight minutes of pure, like, left book memeing right here, okay? Of the revolutionary communist. May I take uh, some literature? Uh, you of course a trot is selling a newspaper. Of course. Yeah, but it is for sale. Yeah, for That's sale. Free. It's for sale. Pamphlets and newspapers. I know. The in a capitalist country. Capitalist. It's just beautiful because, like, it'll only take maybe maximum one more election cycle for most of those guys to openly be voting for whoever the right-wing candidate is anyway. So how much is it? <laughs> uh, depends. So that's all under five bucks. Paper's five bucks. I think we can afford that. I would say so. Let's, uh... Got my, got my wallet somewhere we can get there. got Venmo cash app. Got the way. I like this. See, the communists have Venmo. They've got all the digital infrastructure. I like that. Well, we can do cash. Which, which, what's your best book? Oh, best book? Well, let's see. I don't want to give you one you might use. Uh, here, how about if you want to know what we're about, brother? That's good. Absolutely. What's this one about? This is our paper. We write this and we produce it monthly. How much is this? Also $5. Oh, right here, bro. Right. We'll you Dude, he, like... Dude, every fucking communist group has this guy, okay? The most intense, the most intense ginger you've ever fucking seen in your entire life, dude. With trots, of course, there's fucking selling $5 newspapers. I mean, no, it's perfect. Like this is incredible. Right, thank you. This is like a left book meme come to life, dude. Cool. Thank you. So, thank you, let me ask you, uh, my, here's my issue. This is one of my issues with Kamala Harris. I want your perspective on it. I think she has... Two, uh, your two issues. She has not stated her actual policies. And the reason I respect somebody like Bernie Sanders more than I respect Kamala, and I've said this in numerous occasions, I'm not saying it just right now, is if you have convictions, at least stand by them. If you believe in single-payer health care, if you believe in an effective national health care system for all, then stand by it. But why adopt those positions four years ago only to back off of them today? I, I could disagree with you, but at least have the position and stick to it. That's sort of what my criticism is. 